Hey guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. If you guys remember, probably about a month ago or so, we did a review on the Fire At the S200. If you guys want to check out the original video, check it out here. This thing is phenomenal standalone. And we ordered a bunch of hop-ups and upgrades for it. We got everything from this, which we're going to go over today, which is the uh, kind of the scar ball bearing barrel, which is awesome. And then, of course, we got a ton of aluminum parts, which we're going to put on in another video. But... This was the big one that I wanted. I wanted to see if this ball bearing scar barrel was going to be as good as all the other ball bearing scar, bar scar barrels that are out there. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of scars from, you know, some of the stuff that I goof around with and make. Some people put string and all this stuff. And, you know, for the most part, if people are just putting twists and stuff like that, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really notice any accuracy, especially with all the printing and testing that I've done. Really, the ball bearing ones are the ones that I hear really actually perform. So... I picked this up. I'll leave a description down in the link. You guys can check out the original picture of it here. It's fairly cheap. And I'll tell you right now, guys, this is flat out the number one thing you should get for your S S200, hands down. Now, I haven't tested like the spring and the metal upgrades and all that stuff, but man, the improvement that this made so far over the stock one is unbelievable. I didn't really believe it, but I was like, let me go shoot this thing and see. So again, uh, yeah. I first want to kind of show what you get in the package here. So it does come in a few different parts. It should take literally about sub five minutes to uh, sub five minutes to put on there. It comes with everything you need to take it apart. All the little Allen wrenches, all the screws, so you don't have to go hunting for Allen wrenches. It comes with that back piece. It comes with the front kind of cover that goes over that. You got the screws, and then of course it does have the raised sight and back with kind of the optic, uh, kind of the optics on there, which is awesome. Now this is all 3D printed, so they did. A very very good job on the 3d prints here i did have to pick some of the stuff off of mine just off the back but hey right it, it took two seconds so everything kind of comes all together and if we look at it in the hands with everything on there look at that i mean this this fire rat this green one and the orange one these things freaking rock uh, man but look at that in the hands it just looks so good and those optics work very very well I'm, I'm gonna tell you that right now they work very very good i'm i'm very impressed with with kind of how this came out so in the hands yeah it doesn't look too bad if we want to compare this of what it looks like against kind of a stock one i throw out my orange one here yeah it extends the barrel it kind of gives it that kind of cool look right kind of extends it out you know me i like to make suppressors and stuff like that but look at that it looks great kind of extended out there but let's get right to it. Let's go shoot this thing in the backyard. So I'm shooting uh, worker gen threes out of here. I am sh shooting my white ones so you guys can see them a little better. I'm roughly about 25-ish to 30-ish feet, somewhere right in there away from the target. And man, I think it's just flat out dead on. Just flat out dead on. And what I noticed is you can actually see the spin. It's really not a tight spin. For me, it looked like it wobbled a little more towards the end, which would make sense. And, but I mean, look at this dead on every single time. And I wasn't even trying to use the sights. I was just kind of trying to aim in the general area of the box. And every time guys, this thing is just pinning the target just exactly where I'm at. The only time I ever shot low is because I aimed a little low because <laughs> I always felt like I was going to shoot it over the top. Now, when it comes to FPS, did I notice a decrease? Not really. I mean, maybe I could be the different darts that I was using, but I mean, I'm still shooting very, very well maybe one to two or three fps slower maybe five but it could be these newer darts that i'm shooting in comparison to the older ones but still look at that now i do step back and now i'm about 35 feet away maybe a little more and still this thing is just a plinker um it's it's like almost my new favorite sidearm or even primary this thing shoots so well i would almost want to shoot it over like an aeon pro or a nexus pro I get that you can shoot those faster and you have a little bit better ergonomics when it comes to those. But still, this thing is phenomenal. But look at that. I mean, 35 feet away. I mean, that is just drilling that thing. Absolutely no problem. But whoo, gosh, just look at that. I, I just I just can't stress it enough. So again, there you go. If you guys want to go back, check that out. Again, it's a lot of cool shooting. I cannot wait to really put uh, the upgraded aluminum parts on here, especially the trigger and some of the back pieces here, just to give it that little more robust feel. But I've shot a lot of rounds through my fire rat and I have no problem so far. The only issues are just kind of when I choose the wrong darts with the fatter heads. Hey, but that's me, right? It's not the actual blaster itself. So we'll definitely do an upgrade video on those here in a little bit, but I'll tell you flat out guys. Yeah, this thing, this, this ball bearing scar bell flat out rocks. So if you guys have a rat, uh, fire rat S200, 
get this first get this first you will not be disappointed i know some of the aluminum parts can cost as much if not more if you get them all like as, as twice the cost of this but this right here was not too bad and man the performance that i got out of this i'm just like oh my gosh this th this thing is what it says it is it just dead on every single time and i've probably shot maybe about 200 rounds through here 200 250 and it's just every single time it's like the same thing and i'm like oh that is what i want i love consistency uh, over volume so let me know what you guys think or if you guys have a fire rat i'm always just kind of curious if you guys got it or if you guys have picked this up i'm very very curious anyways let me know what you guys think thanks again fox fans <laughs>